lightsaber jar in a Mickey Mouse hand. Come off there. There it basically is. Remember this right here. This is just like these rhythm lines that I drew up here. Those same rhythmic lines there, these rhythmic lines there, 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 same thing. That's what this is right here. And then he's pretty simple. He's only got three fingers. This one comes out a little bit further. There's this one. There's the index. Here's that web for the thumb. And it is very similar to our hand, but this, these are gonna, the fingers are gonna line up with that rhythmic line right there. So in reality, dude, it's really the same principle. Rhythmic line there coming back, rhythmic line there of where it meets. We don't show the knuckles per se, uh, but it's still there because of where these line up. Now, let's say we're doing a hand that is a foreshortened hand that's coming at us. And we'll make it more of illustration hand. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Everything's just gonna come out. Here's our rhythmic line. I'm gonna make it into a S line right there. Everything's tying in. Remember that landmark back there. Everything's tying in back there. Now I'm just draw, roughing in basics where those fingers are lining up on that rhythmic line. And then I'm going to come back here is the bulk of the hand mm -hmm. itself right there. I'll square it off a little bit. Come in there. Here's that web coming off that finger into the thumb. And now I'm going to work on the rhythmic lines of the knuckles of this hand going back in space and then these back here. Now, you can see I have drawn these shapes in perspective. They're all meeting right at this joint right there, that landmark. They're all meeting there. Start to realize the drawing a little bit more. I'm going to square that off, have it come there, web. I'm going to square this off, square that plane. There's the front of our fingers right there, back, back, web, comes up there, square that off, back, back there. I know, remember the, the these pads right there, right there. I'm going to show a little bit of them and I'm going to cheat it. It doesn't, I'm not being anatomically, I'm not doing this like it's a medical illustration. And I'll just put in that muscle. We're showing that basic muscle. And then on the thumb, I'm going to come in, think of that thumb. Let's see, how would, I mean, um, see, I'm going to look at my hand. How would that thumb be? Do I want to bring, I could bring the thumb in, where am I? I could have it out like this. That's a sprawled out hand, which is basically what I got there. And then I could do is bring the thumb in there. The thumb is very interesting. It can say a lot of things. But right now I'm just going to keep it sprawled out. So we got this whole rhythm going in there. And it's coming down. And now I'm going to make this hand a little bit bigger down here. Come in. And now I'm going to think about the lines underneath where the folds are. So I'm going to come in here. I'll make this real clear for you. Here's my next rhythmic line. I'll put a fold there, a fold there, and just make sure that it's landing on that rhythmic line. And I'm not going to put in all the knuckle folds. So I'm going to put the one back here. I already know where they're going to land. And now I'll come in and just realize the drawing a little bit more. But now I'm just going to unify 
all of these, step back from it. Here we're going to show that knuckle, just give a little bit of drama and bring that down even further. And what I would do from there, if I wanted to, I'm not going to do that now, but you get the gist of it, right? Look at what I'm doing now. I'm coming in, I'm going to just tighten it up a little bit more, realize the drawing just a little bit more. And this is for a specific design repetition. That's how you're going to learn it. I'm going to the rhythm, the rhythm, the rhythm right there, right there, the rhythm, the rhythm. That's what's going to keep it in drawing. Even if you're do, drawing hands, let's say, and the first thing to do, Tessa, is take your non-drawing hand, look at it. Look for those rhythmic lines that I did in red. Look for them when you're, when you're doing it. This is when hands become wonky. I'm going to take this drawing, and if I take this drawing here, and I was just drawing finger by finger, and I hadn't placed in these rhythmic lines. Watch what happens. I bring this one way up here, like so. And then I got, I got all the rhythms completely off. And then I take this one because I'm only looking at the, the finger itself. When we look at that and I do it, all of a sudden it comes out of drawing. It's wonky. The, the reason why is because, and this is why hands are so hard for most people, is because they look at the hand, but then they start looking at the individual fingers, like, you know, this one, this one, this one, instead of looking at the totality of the hands. They get so focused on one finger that they lost sight of the uh, totality of the hand. So if I take a hand and I do something really quick and it, it's like this, and I'm just trying to come up with the, the gesture, but it's, it's, a, it's a hard one. There's, you know, there's perspective on it and the fingers are doing something, you know, a little different, you know, something like this or like that. As long as I got some rhythmic line to go off of, I can then come in, do that, and if this finger here, ring finger, if it's coming back up where the middle finger was going down, I still go off of that rhythm line and put it down there, and then I'll put the pinky on the other side, and it was just the ring, is that the ring finger? No, the, the, I'm sorry, the middle finger. I just made the middle finger come a little bit down while these things, because they can do that. We got that dexterity to do that. But if I do that, notice how, let me flush this out a little more. That's coming down here. There's the pinky. There's the ring finger. Here is the middle finger. Here's the index finger. Come down, 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 down. And then if I want to bring that thumb in, which is fine. There's that big muscle. I bring that thumb in like so. Squared box. There's the palm of the hand. This will come in. This muscle comes in right there. And it's just this just a rough hand for me to put in as, you know, if I'm drawing this sort of character, I'll bring out this a little bit more. It's just a rough hand, but notice this again, the, this important part again. Notice how there's that rhythm, even with a finger that goes off on its own, you know, that doesn't stay within uh, a flow like that. So there we got all that. You, we can see that rhythmic line there. But if we got one that comes down like that, there's still a rhythmic line just like I drew there. If you take these hands, what made them very appealing, a guy, his... Freddie Moore, he was one of a natural animator. He was the one who really developed Mickey Mouse into being who Mickey became. But if you take that, here we have, it's very simple. And it's usually with round construction lines. And you could just put 
put that in there and then we got another kind of Mickey hand right there. Let's say we take the cartoony hand and we make it into a fist. Understand, back in the 1930s and 40s, things were based on more of a round design. There's not, it wasn't as angular until the 50s came in, then into like right now. The, the fad, the trend is very angular uh, type of, of drawing. It all means the same thing. You're drawing a ball or you're drawing a square. So it all does mean the same thing. So let's get back to this. So I'm gonna come in, we're gonna make a fist. We'll do it in a, you know, just a simple cartoon character. One, two, goes like this. And then here's our thumb right there. And then it comes in, it pinches in there and that's your basic fist. Now we're going to take this and I'll show the knuckle down there and it's, it's in a fist. Now that, that's a basic fist or a cartoon style of animation. But if you're doing one that's more, let's say like a milk call type of drawing. He did some hands. I think it was for a uh, sword and stone. Okay, let's say that we're going to, we're just going to make a more anatomically correct type of cartoon hand, but it's a fist. So what we want to think of is a box because a fist, we look at this, it is a box. So we come in here, we look at it and we think, always remember this as a, as a note, as a short hand. If you're drawing a five finger hand, it's always one, two, three three lines on the inside. If you're drawing Mickey's hands, it's two lines on the inside. So remember that when you're doing it, it just makes it a lot quicker for you and everything gets expedited much quicker. So we're drawing this hand. I'm just drawing, roughing in. And look, when I draw, dude, I'm a searcher. I'm not one of these guys that can sit there and just draw perfectly clean and it, come, it comes out. I've always wished I was, I'm just not. So we got this fist. So the thing you want to remember is again, here's our rhythm here. That's gonna let us know, but we got the fist and what happens is, is in the fist, this line does not come up all the way, especially on a down position. So we got a knuckle, 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 knuckle before the knuckles and then up here you can just indicate the knuckles like so they come in there here's our construction line there there's a finger finger comes down i stay true to my initial lay-in right there and this is the side right here it pinches up here. We're gonna see the side of this knuckle comes up in, and this is the overlapping pinch right in there. And this is an exaggerated hand, and it pinches in there. And then this, here's that big, this muscle right there. Here's our bigger one. Here's that muscle there on the palm of the hand. It is being pinched and squash right there and then over here we'll see a little bit of the thumb coming off of there and then back here is the fist right there so we're showing the plane right there and i step back from it and i think i'm gonna move this up here and we're just indicating that thumb right there so remember on a fist Again, you know what, you know where I blew it? I should, this would be a little bit more round right there. It's always a little round. If you look at my hand, see how round that top is? Okay, that's where I blew it just now. That should be a little bit more round. And then if you look at the bottom knuckles, even they are a little bit more round. If I go way down, it's gonna be, it's gonna change in perspective. Talk about profile. 
comes up like this is the basic it's wider down here right at this point tapers off a little bit there it's wider down here and so here we got here's the palm here's the top of the hand we'll go about equal distance to the end of the finger that should be enough room but this part tapers off and then the wrist breaks right in there and we'll draw we'll draw this as a right hand and the thing to remember is so if we got the rhythm of the thumb that's going to come up there we'll draw this to where the thumb isn't sprawled there would be the thumb sprawled a little bit longer but we're going to bring that thumb up here to where it is now just on top of the hand this there's that muscle this muscle right there just right in here that's that muscle there so be aware of that if you're doing like a profile hand there's our knuckle there there's a knuckle here and then i'll just square off the thumb there and do do understand this Tefik. everyone's got their own style of drawing and that just comes with just years your your style just develops don't look don't try to create your own style right now you already have a style in actuality you already got one it's just going to be more pronounced as the years go forward be inspired by everybody but don't sit there and worry about the style so the way i draw is just my way of drawing it just you know it's like your fingerprint i've told you that before i don't want you to worry about the main thing to worry about is just understanding these different aspects and our fingers that's the other thing about the hand i didn't talk about earlier our fingers are unbelievable the way that they can uh they're so limber and they are they have so much dexterity into them i think i think our fingers have more dexterity than any other part they definitely do that you can really just exaggerate them as long as you remember the rhythms and keep everything flowing so this is basically what it will it will be like on a, a profile shot of it there and then if you wanted to watch i'll just add more perspective and the fingers coming down first thing i do is put in that rhythmic line i'll rough it in a finger there come in here notice how it's all lining up with that rhythmic line and that keeps it in drawing and without me going into detail of knuckles and everything this conveys as a hand there's that rhythm again. Here's that rhythm here, down shot. I should have put that in the very beginning. The rhythm is the opposite way, going that way, but it's still a rhythm. Here's the rhythm of that hand.